Hey everybody, it's Friday morning here in Cypress, Texas. It's been a while since I did a walk and talk. I've been doing my workouts at noon usually because I get them getting out early, getting to the office. And then uh, after lunch, I'll go, you know, after three, usually I go to the gym because it's hard to talk to anybody. They're all in traffic and everything anyways. All right, but I'm, so I'm in chapter eight of Matthew. Genesis and Psalms and it's it's really interesting you, you think it's really odd you think that uh, Christ is referencing Genesis this chapter when in when he's talking about in chapter 8 this is where he's you have the golden rule do unto others you have them do unto you all right you're uh the, um, there's a whole bunch of good stuff that he's he's talking about, and uh, in in Matthew it applies to Genesis, this chapter specifically, oh, right? All right, and uh, so and that, so what's going on in Genesis? This is where it's weird. It's like. Okay, they just sold Joseph's father slavery. Now they're talking about uh, Judas. Judas moves away, marries a woman, uh, has a kid. Kid gets married. God determines the kid isn't good. Kills the kid, right? The wife gets, uh, so, so Judas gives his other son, the younger son, you know, has he marry the, the, his older son's daughter. Uh, he don't want to have kids with her, so he pulls out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> rather than going into her, right? And and then uh, and then, so God doesn't like that, kills him, right? And so Judas tells her to go back with her parents, right? And uh, well, she dresses up. She wants to have a kid. She goes and dresses like a prostitute and runs into Judas, right? Judah. And uh, and he's like, yeah, what would it take to, to, to lay with you, right? His wife died too, by the way. So, um, And so she's, he's going to give her a goat. Well, she's like, what, what, what collateral do I have to make sure you give me the goat? So she takes a seal takes a, a, a lanyard that he's got and his cane and then when he has somebody to go to pay her you know they're asking for a temple prostitute and like we don't got a temple prostitute well and she's she starts to show that she's pregnant and they're gonna have her they're gonna have her executed because she's had a you know been a prostitute and had a woman out of wedlock and then she's like the man who got me pregnant this is his stuff and she's just like oh she's more righteous than I am and she has twins, all right. And one of them sticks his arm out of out of his mom before he comes out, but he don't come out. That one who sticks his arm out doesn't come out first. The other brother comes out first, right? And I am like, what is this all representative of, right? I feel like this is representative of Christ. And Lucifer, okay. I think the harlot in Revelations is the daughter-in-law of Judah. All right. Um, Perez is one of the, the ch one of the children. Perez is the second one that comes out, right? Which is in the line of Jesus, right? So I'm like, oh, this is very interesting. Okay, they're. There's this bifurcation going on all throughout the Bible, right? What is it? It's getting rid of the Nephilim seed. All right. Have a great one.